Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the formulas related with uh, construction planning and scheduling. So we can see the total float, a free float, inference float and the independent float. So now, uh, so first we have to know the float. So the float means the amount of uh, time uh, by which can the activity can be delayed without uh, delaying the project. So there is a float. Mm, so now first we can uh, see the total float. So the total float is uh, the amount of time by which can be uh, the activity can be delayed without delaying the project completion time. So that is a total float. So total float T F equal to so L S T minus E S T. So that is latest start time minus earliest start time. So that is a uh, uh, one formula for uh, total float or LFT or minus EST. So this is a formula for uh, total float. Then free float. So the free float means the amount of time by which the can be activity can be delayed without affecting the beginning of or succeeding of the activities. So the total float is uh, the total entire project. So the activity delay ca cannot be affected the project completion time. But uh, in free float, so the succeeding activity or beginning activity so will not be affected uh, the activity delay. So the formula for free float is uh, EST of succeeding activity minus EFT of current activity. So then inference float, so that means the portion of the total float uh, which uh, affect the succeeding activity but not affect the project completion. So that is called inference float. So the formula for inference float is total float minus free float. So next one is independent float. So the independent float, the amount of time and activity can be delayed but not uh, delay in the project completion. So starting of the succeeding activity are not be delayed by the uh, proceeding activity. So that is a uh, independent float. So the formula for independent float is uh, EST of succeeding activity minus LFT of proceeding activity minus current activity duration. So these are all the floats uh, we have to concentrate uh, more because uh, the float is very much uh, required uh, to uh, scheduling the activity. So because the completion of project in time is very essential. If case any uncertain happen in the project time, so we can uh, stretch the activity duration. But the thing is uh, the delay of uh, uh, such activity will not be affected the project completion time. So that's why uh, we have to know the, about the floats. Uh, so. Uh, again we will see next video thank you